Good evening, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. It's such an honor to be presenting this award. I'm also a screenwriter, actually, and uh, I have a tendency to make lists of soundtracks to write to, which most of my colleagues do. And this morning's list was a combination of the very different but equally moving pieces of these nominees, and I did get a lot of writing done. It was wonderful. <laughs> yes. So, and the fact that new screenplays can be born from the music made for other films is something that I find circularly poetic. I can't get over the love relationship between like music and not only moving image, but also music and writing. So first, thank you to all the composers sitting here for that inspiration that helps us to actually write the movies, and especially to the nominees. And now I'm gonna open this envelope. And the winner for this year is Daniel Pemberton. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I won a motherfucking award! <laughs> so I, I have been to so many award shows and never won. This is literally the first time in, a, like, since I was probably here and won Discovery, like, about a zillion years ago, it feels like now. So this, this actually means a lot, like, a lot to me because it's all about my body. And I'm glad you're digging my body. But <laughs> the thing is, it's like, I'm, one of the things I really love about film music is the fact you get to do so many different things and the challenge of every film being a, a, a new adventure. Like all these films I did were very different. Rising Phoenix, which probably no one's seen, please watch it on Netflix. It's about the Paralympics. Netflix did a very not particularly good job at promoting it. <laughs> but it's an amazing movie. And Nola Holmes, they did an amazing job of promoting. In fact, Netflix had all these movies because of the pandemic and it's weird. They're all meant to be in the cinema and it's something I really miss and I'm sure we've all missed is, is not going to cinema. So I really hope we all go back to cinema. Um, but doing all these different, uh, like, sort of adventures in music and adventures in sound is one of the things I think is so exciting about being a film composer because you get to do so many different, like, approaches to music. It's like the world of music is, is yours. I think if you're in a band, it's very difficult because you're like a, a can of beans in a supermarket and you have to stay to the same recipe. And if you change the recipe, people get cross. But if you're a film composer, you're kind of invisible, so you can keep doing these things. And there's so many great, like all the other scores on this are like, like amazing scores. Um, and I feel a bit bad about winning, but I don't feel that bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I always wanted to say thank you so much to the World Soundtrack Awards, because it is such like, an amazing organization and experience, because uh, so many of us are just locked in, like if you're a composer, you're just locked at home that whole time, no one sees you, and just to hang out with other composers, other film music fans, wander around Ghent, get drunk, gossip, all this stuff, it really actually means, like a, it's, a, it's like you kind of create these bonds with other composers from other worlds, other countries, especially with our country, kind of being pretty, let's say, not particularly smart with some of the decisions they've made recently politically. <laughs> um, and so it's really nice to come back to Europe and hang out with all these wonderful people, wonderful orchestra, wonderful conducting. It's been brilliant. And um, I just want to thank, I could thank tons of people, but they're not here, so who cares? So it's like, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll thank my two agents, Robert Messenger in the States and Daryl Alexander sitting over there. I thank the amazing cat for putting up with me for all those movies. And um, I just want to thank everyone here for like digging film music because it's super niche. Like it shouldn't be niche, it's really weird. It's like a huge, mainstream uh, kind of art form, but it's, people don't understand it. And in some ways it's kind of cool because it means I don't have to be a can of beans. I can be something different every time. And thank you for uh, uh, recognizing my ability to be different. And thank you for enjoying my body.
Well done.